What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I'm Alex. Welcome back to the channel, Alex the Vagabond. And in this episode, I'm gonna be taking you on an awesome adventure through the beautiful state of Colorado during the fall. Let's go. But like most journeys, ours didn't begin in the mountains. First, we had to traverse the desert, a long passage through parched lands, beautiful in their silence and solitude, dry dirt that speaks to centuries of erosion and wind-sculpted castles. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful day here in Carbondale, Colorado, and we have a pretty awesome day lined up. We're gonna be doing some fly fishing on the Roaring Fork River, staying up here at uh, Airbnb at a little ranch, and it's super gorgeous, nice temperature in the mid 60s, and we're really excited to get on the river and hopefully catch some fish. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm just pumping Lanka for his daycare today. He looks really, really into it. He's concerned a little bit, but you know what? You're gonna have a good time. You are, you will. All right, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Goodbye, Lanky. Well, here we are, we're on the Roaring Fork River. It is a beautiful fall afternoon in Colorado. All of the trees around us are starting to change colors and uh, feeling really, really lucky right now. Got the river to ourselves. So we're gonna do our best to uh, throw the flies around and hopefully catch something. And if not, you know, say la vie, that's life. It's just nice to be out here relaxing on this beautiful stretch of the Roaring Fork River. Caught one today, and you know, part of the beauty of fly fishing is just being in the outdoors and uh, spending so much time next to a river and in a river. There's something about the sound of flowing water that is just so calming and really grounding and centers me. So, any day on a river is a day well spent. And, you know, when you're surrounded by this beautiful fall foliage, it's even more spectacular. Saw some deer walking through the trees here. Really, really nice. I love Colorado.
right, well, it's the afternoon. It's gone from extremely cold in the morning to quite hot actually right now. But we are gonna go on a little horseback ride. Carrie got all of the knowledge yesterday <laughs> on horses. What are we in for, hun? It's gonna be super fun. Um, yesterday I did a training which was really cool because when you go horseback riding, I feel like they put you right on the horse and you don't get to learn the ins and outs of just caring for a horse and you get to, don't get to really be on the ground and connect with the horse. She was saying that 80% of your connection with the horse is on the ground because you're taking care of them, you're brushing them. So I got to actually clean the horseshoe on the horse, like while the horse was standing and my horse's name is Jojo. We'll see who you get today. But um, we got to do kind of like a bonding exercise, which was really neat. And, I don't know, made me love horses even more than I already did. We are both big horse lovers, so. Life dream. Life dream. Have two horses. And we a can farm. ride around in the wild together. I think, that, I think that's achievable. <laughs> we shall see. Anyways, stay tuned, this is gonna be fun. Well, we are up in the forest now. Just climbed up to the top of the mountain overlooking the property. It's nice and cool up here in the trees. And the uh, horses are loving it. It's just so nice to be on a horse. I feel like, you know, this is the original transportation method. The reason they call horsepower in your car is because originally there was just one horse and it was a single horsepower, and it's still my preferred number of horsepower. So, it's nice to be on a horse. One day, Carrie and I are gonna have our own horses. But today, we'll, Honey and Jojo will have to do. day and we're gonna wind down here with our new friends mm. beers and alpacas hi this is a beer you want some hello he's funny that's Georgie so Georgie and um, from what I've been told. What's the deal? You've been in here before. Yeah, so I've been hanging out with the alpacas. So mm -hmm. essentially Georgie has the blue collar. Yeah. Georgie is a male. Yeah. And he actually doesn't get along with the other male alpaca. So that's why they, there's another male alpaca who is with the chickens and the baby cows. A male alpaca? A male alpaca and his friend. I don't know the, what's the deal with the other friend, but at least there's two alpacas together. I think that they maybe just brought another random to be like, yeah. at least there's two of them. Um, baby is very timid. This so is baby. cute. Look at the baby. <laughs> She's <laughs> just staring at us. She, she, she can't even really stand up. Well, sh I think oh, she, that's Mama. Hey, Mama. That's Mommy. She looks like she's kind of okay with us. Yeah. She's so cute. She knows she's cute too. <laughs> yeah. Is that your Mama? Is that she's, your Mama? She's shaking her head yes. <laughs> Hi. She wants to see your camera. I mean, how often do you have a beer with an alpaca? You know, I'd have to say, not as often as I'd like. Thoroughly confused from our evening with the alpacas, we hopped back on the road to explore a different corner of the mountain range, up into the higher country. The scenery was breathtaking. Quaking aspens of vibrant yellows and oranges, golden amber and fiery scarlet 
turned the wooded mountainside into a painter's palette, a living, breathing work of art, divinity embodied in arboreal ecstasy. We couldn't help but stop to check out the rivers along the way, tromping down to the waterside to admire the views and throw a couple of flies. We got pretty lucky and were blessed to meet two nice trout, a big brown and a beautiful rainbow, who both showed off their silver and earth-toned scales before slipping slowly back into the stream, a brush with divinity in the soft embrace of the river. Gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a absolutely beautiful morning here in Colorado. The sun's just coming up and hitting all of the yellows and oranges and reds from the aspen trees. We are up here in the mountains at around 8,000 feet. And today we're going to be doing some uh, little explorations in the, in the area, checking out some lakes but it's just been really, really nice to be up here in the mountains, to unplug from all of the drama in the, in the world right now, and to just really cherish these moments in nature. And honestly, starting your day with a nice hot cup of coffee and a view like that, it's completely unrivaled. Road trip continues. We have left the area of Marble, Colorado, which is just above Carbondale. We've kind of been hanging out in that area for well over a week. And now we are driving north to Steamboat Springs area. It's pretty incredible though. The, the scenery has changed drastically just in about an hour of driving. We've gone from like high alpine Aspen and pine forests and now we're driving through what looks like a high altitude desert. It reminds me a lot of the eastern slope of the Sierra Nevada mountains back in California. But it's very pretty and uh, we have clear skies and we have a couple of fun more days lined up exploring a new corner of Colorado. So we'll let you know when we get there. Ladies and gentlemen, well, it is a, another beautiful morning here in Colorado, October 5th, and today we're gonna go on a little hike on the South Fork Trail. Really, really beautiful. And uh, we're getting these amazing autumn oranges and yellows and reds. The trees are all changing colors. And we got it all to ourselves. So I'm gonna take you along for the hike. Let's go.
hiding up here amongst all the trees as the seasons are changing. You know, many of these aspens have already lost their leaves. And it's crazy to think that this year, 2020, is coming to an end. It has been such a bizarre year. So many weird, bad things happening between coronavirus and all of that drama. It's just been a very, very different and difficult year for many of us. And coming up here into the natural world, you know, it just, the seasons just keep going and things keep moving the way that they always do. And I think that coming out here and getting that little bit of perspective really helps kind of, it helps me deal with all of the strange things that have happened in, in this year. Just coming back out to nature and, and realizing that it's all part of, you know, a bigger cycle and a bigger circle. And uh, just watching these leaves change colors and then slowly drift from their branches to the, to the floor, fertilize the trees for the next year. It's beautiful and it's simple. So it's nice to be out here. friends well it has been a very fun couple of weeks exploring the incredible landscapes of Colorado during the fall we have had some great days of fishing we've had some incredible hikes tons of unforgettable scenery and it's just been a really nice balance of capturing the moment for all of you back at home and also enjoying the present moment here with Carrie and my dog Lanka. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down in the comment section, and make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And we will see all of you in a video very, very soon. Peace.